Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, you understood the logic to check if the data in a doubly linked list is palindrome or not, and in this lecture, you will write a program for it. Let's get started. I have imported the node and linked list class from our doubly linked list file, which we had written in the previous section, and I have created a doubly linked list, which we had seen in the previous lecture with the string level. So let's now execute this program to see how our output looks like. So that's Python 3 if you are on Mac or Linux and PY if you are on Windows, space the file name which is palindrome.py. On execution you see that printing from the beginning you have the output as level level and printing from the end also we have the output as level level which makes it as a palindrome string. So now you could ask me, hey, you're printing from the beginning and you're printing from the end. Now if the beginning string is equal to the end string, can't you say that's a palindrome? You certainly can, but there is a catch. Let's take a look at the program which we had written. So in our doubly linked list file, we see that we have our print method in which we are doing this. So in our print method, we first start traversing from the beginning till the end of the list and then we print it. Similarly, we traverse all the way from the end to the beginning and then we print it. Now what if we had millions of records in our doubly linked list and that's not palindrome. So we start traversing from the beginning till the end and from the end to the beginning and then we realize that it's not palindrome. Now in the logic which we had seen earlier, we check with the first and the last node. Now if they don't match, then that's not a palindrome and there is no need to traverse through the rest of the list. So now that you have understood the reason why we go for that logic, let's get started with the program. So we will have a new function, let me call it palindrome and this accepts the linked list object as the parameter. So let's write the function that's defined palindrome and it accepts the object and within this we need to have two pointers the start pointer which starts from the beginning of the list so that's linked list dot head and end pointer that starts from the end of the list now initially we do not have the end of the list we need to traverse the list to reach the end so let's first start from the head node and then traverse the list so we need the address of the last node and how do we find the last node the next of that node should not be none so if that's not none then you advance, so your end pointer will advance to the next node till it reaches the last node. And once this loop breaks, we have end pointer at the last node. So we have start at the beginning and end at the last. So we have our list which is initially like this. We have L, V, E and L. L, E, V and L. So we have start here and end here. So we need to check if data at these two pointers are equal. So let's first run a while loop to start traversing. So that's while true and you check if your start pointer dot data is equal to the end pointer dot data. Now if it is equal, we advance start pointer to next and the end pointer comes back to the previous node. So your start pointer will be start pointer dot next and your end pointer will be end pointer dot previous. In the next iteration, your start pointer is here and your end pointer is here. Once again, both the data is equal. So your start moves to V and your end also moves to V. And this is the terminating condition. We need to check if the start pointer is equal to the end pointer. Now notice here that till now we were checking the data at start pointer and end pointer, but here we are checking the address itself. Now if they both point to the same node, then that means that's the end of the list. So we can have a print statement that tells the user list is palindrome and then we can return from this function. Now at any point of time, if their data was not equal, then we need to give a print statement to the user that says list is not palindrome and then we return from this function. Now let's save and execute this program to see if it works as expected. So let's save it, go back to our terminal and execute it. So now in execution, you see that level is palindrome is the output. Now let's change the input. Let's say we are passing the input as index, which is not a palindrome. So this time our output should be list is not palindrome. Let's save this program and execute it. And this time we see that we have the output that says list is not palindrome. So that's the end of this lecture. And with this, we come to an end of all the brain teasers in this course. 
The next section is about circular linked list, which is a slight variation to our singly linked list and doubly linked list. You will see that when we move on to that section. Now, all of these programs which we have solved till now, you will have all of these files attached at the end of this section. As I told you earlier, I had not covered conic cases in some of the lectures since that was repetitive. But in the last section where you have all the files attached, you will have all those cases covered. And in case any of those cases are not covered, do let me know and I'll update them. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.